rented one bedroom house. But then he spotted potential in the emerging e cigarettes market. After a lot of hard work, he became a millionaire many times over. But surely no money will ever compensate for the peace of mind he's lost since a masked gang raided his home. Thirteen years ago, I was living in a one-bedroom rented house, and I've pulled myself up by myself. It's not like I've had a silver spoon, you know. I've, 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 there's been tough times in my life, and I've worked extremely hard to um, produce for myself the life that, that I want. I've always been a bit of you know, maybe a rolling stone, people might say. I've lived uh, in lots of different places. I've never stayed put for longer than two, three years in any particular house. But this place, it's a beautiful place to live. I've lived in this house for three and a half years. I live alone. It's a mad world out there, and, you know, the business world is a mad world, and when I actually get here and come in through the gates, it's, it's, I find it very tranquil. Once again, the people whose job it is to protect this... Country... That night, I'd ordered an Indian takeaway, delivered probably at about 10.30, and I ate it watching Newsnight. Once I've finished the meal, I then went and sat um, in, in another chair and switched my computer on. And then my cat was meowing, uh, which prompted me to get up and open the door further for her to go out. What's wrong here? Come on, then. I noticed the porch door was ajar. I then opened the door further and stepped outside. I thought they were here to kill me. I didn't know who they were. Four people who seemed intent on causing me very serious harm. further into the house. Get in there! Get in there! Where's the gold? I know you've got gold. Tell me where the gold is! They're in the reading room. Where's the cash? Car keys and wallet in the lounge. Just take them! Where's your bunker? I don't know what you're talking about. I got a towel placed on my head. Take the car. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Then I got liquid was poured all over me, which started to burn. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's burning! And I thought they're going to set me on fire. No, please! I found out almost certainly it was bleach that had been poured on me. I've got them! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't you even think about calling the police! Come on. Come on. Understand? Oh, As soon as I'd heard the car drive off, I pulled myself into the kitchen. Three, uh, you can show us down at this location now. There's a guy there, sir. Yeah. The one place that I cherish as being safe is my home. And it destroyed that, really. 
And that's a, a greater offence than anything that was taken. And they don't even have the guts to take the mask off and let me see who they are. The gutless. Well, D.I. Perry O'Neill from Lancashire Police is leading on this one. You are convinced that somebody watching Crime Watch tonight knows who did this? Yes, the offender stole a large amount of money, about £95,000, as well as other items. Um, I'm convinced they will have told somebody about that. Uh, the victim quite quickly recovered from his physical injuries, uh, but the psychological impact has been far more significant on him. Um, we saw that these attackers, uh, you know, they said some pretty strange, unusual things to Jason. Yeah. Yeah, they asked him about where his bunker was, which he didn't quite fully understand, and they also asked him about uh, where his skyline was, which is a car that he had uh, in his garage. Um, and it was the case, wasn't it, that um, although now he stepped up security and that there are no valuables in the property, um, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of very expensive stuff was stolen. Can you just take me through the details of that? Yes, there were two gold bars stolen that were worth about £24,000 each, some other items, obviously the cash. Uh, and three watches, uh, a blue chrono Amiga Seamaster watch worth about £7,000, another Amiga Seamaster watch worth about £2,000 and a Breitling Sky Racing watch worth about £4,000. They've all got serial numbers on and they're easily identifiable. Yeah, they can, people can check out the serial numbers yeah. on, our, on our website. Um, tell us then about his, uh, his car, the Range Rover. Yes, it was abandoned uh, about half a mile away on Goosefoot Lane. Uh, we believe the offenders transferred into another car uh, to make off. Um, the car, the Range Rover, was completely burnt out, uh, and there was some poor quality CCTV that showed the offenders getting into a pickup type truck that had spotlights on the back facing backwards on the cab. Um, we would ask anyone who saw that vehicle travelling around that night, or anyone who they think had access to a vehicle like that and could have been involved, to contact us. Okay, D.I. Paddy O'Neill, thank you very much for now. Well, if you know anything about what happened to Jason or have been offered, any of the items that were stolen, please do contact us now. It is 0500 600 600 as usual in the studio. Or, of course, you can speak anonymously to Crime Stoppers. They're on 0800 treble 5 treble 1.